Peshawar Zalmi endured an underwhelming season last year, where they just about sneaked through to the playoffs and then were the first team to be eliminated. When the draft came around, they decided to start with a virtual clean slate, retaining only five players from their PSL5 run. Now, sitting pretty at second on the points table, with three wins in five matches, it's fair to say that a fresh start paid off for them. They will, however, miss the highest wicket-taker of the season so far, Saqib Mahmood. His hit-the-deck nature of bowling was very successful in the middle overs, where he provided crucial wickets at the best average of the tournament, while also being Peshawar's most reliable death bowler. His replacement, Fidel Edwards, has only bowled a little over 20% of his overs in the middle and is more known for his abilities with the new ball. Peshawar Zalmi will need their captain, Bahab Riaz, to step up and become the middle overs enforcer he once was. Liam Livingston was one of the four players Zalmi retained before the draft, but the season will end with him not having played a single game. They won't be too disheartened by him missing out because Fabian Allen is an excellent like-for-like -like replacement, with Fabian being arguably more destructive at the death than providing some handy left-arm spin. Zalmi's lower order, in general, is in ship shape. They currently possess the highest death strike rate by far and will now be bolstered with the inclusion of the likes of David Miller, Allen and Rob Man Powell. Peshawar may be a tad worried about Kamran Akmal's form with the bat. The 39-year-old had a disappointing start to the PSL but will be hoping to get back to his best in the UAE where he is the highest scoring local batsman in the PSL. Nevertheless, the management has included Bismillah Khan as a like-for-like -like backup. They also have the option of handing Imam al-Haq the gloves and bringing in hard-hitting Afghani opener Hazratullah Zazai. Heather Ali played a number of impactful knocks in the Karachi leg, but none of his innings were large in magnitude. This may be down to his propensity to be dismissed by pace. On the other hand, he has never been dismissed by a spinner in the PSL. A shift to the UAE, where there will be more emphasis on spin, may bode well for him. In Abu Dhabi, spinners will have a greater role to play. It remains to be seen if Peshawar's inexperienced spin attack, with less than 60 wickets between them, will be up to the task. It is here that they may miss the services of Mujibur Rahman, who would have completed their bowling attack. While the spin attack may be raw, they do not lack variety, with Abrar Ahmed's mystery spin having already ruled Kaide Azam Trophy 2nd 11 and Vakar Salam Khail's fast left arm unorthodox not an easy prospect to face. While the PSL delay may have slightly weakened Peshawar Zalmi's bowling attack, their batting is stronger than ever and it is reasonable to them to harbour ambitions of a top-two finish.